Let's see how it sounds with... All right, what is going on guys? So due to popular demand, this is my unboxing of first impressions of the Acer Swift 3. This is a 13 inch laptop compared to the Acer Aspire 5. Um, so this is rocking, I believe an Intel i5 processor. Um, it comes in at around $600, but overall I'm going to see how this is in terms of my first impressions and if there's any better laptops that you can get. So let's get with the unboxing experience. Um, not sure uh, what the stain came from, but it's kind of disgusting. So I believe I can just slide this in here. And just like that. We have the laptop. Now, you guys want to hear me speak Spanish? Too bad. I'm not going to speak Spanish. At least not in this video. I've already, I've already spoken Spanish in one of my videos and uh, never again. Like I said before, this is a 13 inch laptop. So taking a look on the outside here, it definitely has a strong silver presence in direct light. However, when you're near lamps and whatnot, it has a bit of a softer tone to it. We have this Swift branding here on the back. I really like that with some air vents as well. And then we have these rubber grommets for when you actually open up the laptop for the screen to rest on. Um, underneath the laptop we have more venting as well and a little bit of some raised grommets so it's not flush with the table that it's sitting on. Um, trying to see where this is made. Oh there we go. Made in China. Let's give it a quick whiff. <sighs> Acer, uh, it smells like dirty sneakers. All right, so while this computer is getting booted up here, let's talk about some of the, I guess, features that this laptop has. So we have a 14 inch IPS panel. So first things first, it's nice that we're getting a laptop shipped with IPS. I think in terms of color and just the way the viewing angles you have for a laptop, IPS is probably one of the best panels that you can get. Long battery life and fast charging. We'll see the claims on that because, in my personal opinion, Cortana is about to start speaking. Hi there. I'm Cortana, and I'm here to help. I know. Um, this is a very... This is a very small adapter, and I have my doubts in terms of fast charging, but we'll see. Um, we also have Wi-Fi 6, which is nice. Thunderbolt 4. So completely disagree what I said about the fast charging. I think with the USB-C port with Thunderbolt, um, it's probably best to just charge through there. And then finally, we have an HDMI port. So starting things off on the left-hand side, we have that adapter to charge the laptop right here. We have Thunderbolt 4, which was I was actually not expecting on this laptop, HDMI, and then a USB-A port. And then when we move on to the other side, we have a Kenenton lock. USB-A port, and then a headphone jack, and some indicators as well. So it looks like the laptop is on and it is not charging. Nice to see that we have indicators because I really do miss that from the old days. Um, so let's just go ahead and get this set up here. Now, another thing I wanna mention is that this is not Windows 11. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so while Windows is setting up, I actually wanna see what the backlight looks like. So let me actually turn off the studio light for a second. Um, It's manageable. I would say this is not bad. I'd actually prefer it to be a little more legible, but I would say most people are probably gonna, are probably gonna be able to see these keys at night. Um, so backlighting, I would definitely give it a pass. Not superb by any sense. Um, so Windows is still setting up. As you can see, we are still running Windows 10. I almost said 11. Um, we're still running Windows 10 when we get the laptop first shipped to us, but do keep in mind that this is capable of being upgraded to Windows 11. All right, so unlike the Acer 15, this actually cannot go all the way back. This is the furthest the laptop can go back. Um, so for me, that's not that big of a deal breaker because I usually don't flip my laptop around. I don't really use a two-in-one. Um, but if you're a person who is looking for a 2-in-1 laptop or for the display to go all the way back, 
um, this is not the laptop for you. So during the setup process here, we do have a fingerprint sensor. The fingerprint sensor is located right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that set up real quick. Nice to see that we have a fingerprint sensor. So this is something new that is in the Windows 10 installation with laptops that are still being shipped with Windows 10 or if you're setting up Windows 10 and connects to the internet, it's telling you that this computer or your device is recommended to run on Windows 11. Now you can decline if you prefer to just be on Windows 10. Um, from my own personal experience, I would say that Windows 11 is stable enough for a vast majority of people. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit get it. But if you don't want it, once again, you can just hit decline upgrade. So at this moment, it's going to download Windows 11. And now I'm going to open up the laptop and see what else we get in this thing. Okay, so for those of you who've watched shows that are like, do not try this at home, for example, Mythbusters. Please don't try anything you're about to see at home. We're what you call experts. Um, while your laptop is getting set up for the first time, do not open it up. This is not for professionals. I'm not a professional myself, but you're what you call experts. I'm confident enough that um, I'm not going to kill the computer while I'm opening it. Okay, no joke. It's a lot easier to open up a MacBook than an Acer Swift 3. My goodness. Come on. <sighs> Finally. Oh my gosh. All right, so open up the laptop here. This is a bit of a disappointment, but not too disappointing because there are some things that we can upgrade here. Um, so we have this huge battery pack, which is made in China. We have these two speakers, which I'm excited to test out because that means, I mean, looking at these speakers right here, they look to be decent enough. Um, we have this M.2 slot that we can upgrade. This is actually a Samsung drive 512 made in China. And then we have a Wi-Fi card, which I believe is Intel. Yes, also made in China. And I mean, this whole board is pretty much made in China. Um, not that it's a bad thing. You just It's good to know where your products come from. But overall, um, would have been nice to see if RAM was included in here. But unfortunately, there is not. It looks like it is actually soldered into the motherboard. Um, but if you were looking to upgrade your storage yourself, you can do that. Um, so let's get this bad boy or girl back on here and continue with the rest of the unboxing experience or first impressions. <laughs> All right, now that the laptop is back in, I'm gonna test out the fingerprint sensor. Just like that, I'm back in. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick speaker test, see how the speakers sound. God, this keyboard, I already know that I'm gonna get over 100 words per minute on this thing. Um, let's just walk through a cité in a folk kai. Where have we been? Ooh, Mexico City. Ciudad de Mexico. What? There we go. That's Spanish, right? Ciudad de Mexico. See, I told you guys I know Spanish. Come on. Come on. I mean, the screen looks incredible. Yeah, I mean, these speakers are crisp. Let's see how it sounds with... Guys, hold on, hold on. Listen, this sounds like a Bleach soundtrack. I'm not even gonna lie. And it's so crisp. Speakers are good. If speakers can make me dance, they're good speakers. So they get a pass for me. Okay, and also in terms of the display, 
I'm gonna freeze it on this frame right here. It is, like I said, IPS, you can go wrong with it, especially if color is a priority for you. This is stunning. For $600, stunning. Especially on a 13 inch device like this. All right, so let's do a quick typing test. Like I said, <laughs> these key this keyboard, Acer keyboards are one of my favorites, man. They're so, it's like the perfect travel for me. I say this, this is probably annoying for people who always come across this channel, but keyboards are very subjective. This keyboard for people who like a very nice, it's like the perfect travel. I don't even know how to explain it, but the way I'll describe it is, it's just, <laughs> bro, I could have ride on this forever. Oh my goodness, it's so good. All right, so here's how I'm going to describe it. It's not too squishy and it's not too firm. It's just the perfect travel. Like if you're trying to type a paper really, really fast and you, if you're a person who doesn't like a lot of travel, this is the perfect keyboard for you. Um, the other thing as well, like I said, the backlighting is good or actually it's it's good enough. It's gonna get you through the night if you need to, you know, crank out some papers with no lights on, you're really trying to focus. Um, but overall, type and experience, 10 out of 10. Acer keyboards are at the top of my preference, I would say. Um, so let's go ahead and test out the camera here and the speakers as well, or I should say the microphone, excuse me. So this is the microphone and camera test on the Acer Swift 3. This is actually, pretty good for cameras in this price point. Um, most of the time, it's not that good. Do keep in mind, this is like studio light. So let me go ahead and uh, turn that off and see how it performs. And now we're back to uh, typical territory of how cameras look on laptops. But if you have good lighting or, you know, if the sun is out, oh my God, there we go. Balance how to work out for a second. But if you have like the sun or good lighting, the camera definitely improves and man, I'm looking good. As far as laptop, camera i've seen that i've complimented myself but i, mean, I look good hey sir good job but keep in mind this is ideal situation so make sure you're near natural light if you're doing a conference call at night i'm be honest turn the camera off turn the camera off so this is the first impressions of the acer swift 3 and i would say for the price it's not that bad um, I was actually expecting a lot worse, but I was pleasantly surprised. The only negative I would say really is this. Like if you're gonna provide a laptop with USB 4, or I should say Thunderbolt 4, don't give me a charger like that in 2022. Um, but this is my first impressions. Let me know what you guys think of the Acer Swift 3, if you're gonna pick it up. Uh, I, appreciate every I appreciate every single sub, like, and comment. And as always guys, much love. See you in the next one. Nice laptop, Acer. Nice laptop.